Two videos in one day. What sort of madness is this? What's going on everybody? Uncle Jesse here. Frozen is releasing a new resin 3D printer, their Mega 8K resin 3D printer. That's right, 8K. I, I'm like blown away. I'm still trying to get over machines that are doing 4K these days with mono screens and printing really fast and they're upping the ante here to 8K in a huge resin 3D printer and with a ridiculous price tag of $1,000. Well, that's the initial kickoff price for the printer and it's limited quantities at that price point and then it slowly increases in scale. But I did wanna talk about the machine and I wanted to talk about some things that I wanted to make sure that you're aware of before you jump in on the deal here uh, that I just wanted to call out. Again, just some, not concerns, but just stuff I wanted to make sure that you're aware of. There's also a crazy bit of news bundled in with this announcement that I don't think anyone's really talked about up until this point. And it's, oh, uh, it hurts my head to think about. So let's jump right in and look at the announcement from Frozen. So this is again, their mega 8K resin 3D printer. It's a 15 inch screen, mono screen, and the video, uh, let me just say here, uh, there are some beautifully produced promotional videos by these companies. They have just, again, upped the game here. I think this looks fantastic. They're using a lot of models from Loot Studios. Uh, I apologize. I don't know who that, who created that huge samurai file, but I want to print it because it looks amazing, especially that ginormous size there as well. I mean, they're, and they're perfectly know who they're targeting with this as well. All of these miniature creators or people that are looking to sell printed things, uh, this looks like a fantastic machine for you to jump on. Now, Frozen already has built a few different resin 3D printers. The Sonic Mini is a fantastic, you know, budget-friendly initial resin 3D printer that you can get started out with. It's very small and it has a 4K option as well with mono screen. They also have the, I think it's the Sonic Mighty, which I actually have on hand. I haven't had a chance to set it up and get printing. Hopefully within the next few weeks, I'll have a review video video up and, up and going on that particular printer. And then they also have the Frozen Transform, which is just this beast of a resin printer. It's alongside of the, the likes of Piopoli with their larger resin 3D printers, but it has an upgradable mono screen display, which just is fantastic if you can afford it. Now what they're looking at doing with this is making an even larger resin 3D printer, the Mega printer. And I love the design of the case as well. It has that M built in to the acrylic panel on the front. I think that's a fantastic design choice that really sets it apart from a lot of the other machines that are out there. So this is gonna be a really big printer. And let me just pull up the details again because I had it written down. Uh, it's going to be, the build volume is 330 millimeters by 185 millimeters by 400 millimeters. That is a really large print volume. I think it's slightly smaller than the Phenom uh, L, which is a really large resin 3D printer that you can print pretty much full-size helmets on. In fact, uh, this is one of the EPAX machines, the X156, that I was able to print a full-size a uh, mask off of this, a helmet off of this. But again, they don't have mono screens and this is an 8K display, which you're gonna be able to get some seriously great print results off of that resolution for these machines. So one of the things that I wanted to call out that I'm not a huge fan of that I saw that's gonna be part of the printer are these huge perforated build plates. And uh, it's great for adhesion purposes, but it's a pain to work with because you will get cured prints uh, resin inside those holes and you have to continually try and pop them out after each of the prints plus resin tends to pool up in there uh, It just kind of makes for a messy messier experience in my opinion and in fact in fact I recently purchased their uh, Standard build plate that is not it doesn't have all the holes in it So it's gonna alleviate that whole experience from my side when I'm printing with the transform But it's just something that you're gonna need to be aware of when working with this Let's drop that on the ground. It's just something that you're gonna to need to be aware of when working with this larger resin printer is that you're gonna have those holes in the build plate, which can be kind of a pain to work with. The prints that they're showing off on their page just look, again, amazing off of this machine. That's no surprise since the high resolution that you're gonna be able to get off of that 8K screen should just produce some ridiculously amazing prints. And again, it should print really fast as well. So in terms of the buying options there, there is the super early bird option, which is again, a thousand dollars for you to pick this up. It's limited to the first 50 orders and I'm sure that's gonna go extremely fast. 
Then there is another option for uh, $1,100, which is the early bird. It's limited to 100 uh, and then you've got some further options beyond that, what's going to include some additional resin, some extra, uh, it looks like FEP sheets that are going to come with the with the replacement. Yeah, the end FEP sheets coming with two additional ones. I mean, honestly, that's probably this one down here for $200 more than the original, and it's limited to 150 sets, is probably a better deal. You're getting four bottles of resin, the Aqua Ivory resin that they're now offering, which will be fun to try out. And then uh, two additional FEP sheets, the end FEP sheets that are gonna come with the machine. I think that's probably a better option for you right there than just the standard $1,000 option to try and fight for. Uh, and then it goes on from there where they have additional options. But basically, uh, it's looking like the standard price for this should be, if I'm seeing this correctly, is should be under 18. It's looking like the standard pricing is still going to be under $2,000 even after this early purchasing option. I think that's going to go live here tomorrow morning. And I mean, that's not a bad price at all for a machine of this size and that, again, crazy resolution that's going to come with it. But there is a huge thing that you need to consider when jumping in on this that they mentioned in some of their comments on their Facebook page. The shipping costs and VAT or taxes are not included with this initial purchase. So you're going to be looking at anywhere from an additional $400 to maybe even $1,000 extra that you're going to have to pay to have this shipped out to you. So, I mean, that's where it's going to probably even out a little bit much uh, or a little bit more. I was thinking, how the hell are they going to be able to sell this for $1,000? And it's because of that. There, there's The shipping fees are not included in this initial purchase price. You're going to have to pay that on top of that once the machine is already developed and available to be shipped out. So it's just something that you're going to need to really consider when jumping in on this that you're going to have to fork out another probably at least $500 to $800 for shipping fees. Now, one of the craziest things that was buried in here that I've not heard talked about at all is that when you buy this machine, you get a one-year free subscription to Cheetubox to Cheeto Box Pro. That's right, Cheeto Box Pro, as far as I'm aware, isn't even available yet. I know that they've been working on it and they're beta testing it. I'm kind of avoiding it right now. I just kind of want to wait and see what it is once it's fully released. I don't want to be involved with it up, and up front initially. But it sounds like there is going to be... <laughs> A payment plan, obviously around the pro version, and it's an annual subscription of $170? Gah! Who's going to pay that? That's crazy. There's no way I would pay that. That's like, um, Simplify 3D was, what, $150? But it was a one-time purchase. Uh, Lychee Slicer, I think, is like $30 for the year for all of their pro features. 150 plus dollars is a little crazy for an annual membership to a slicer program unless it's got some amazing features added to it and you know they in one of the posts on the Anycubic and one of the posts on the Frozen site actually details a little bit of the additional options that are going to come with the pro version so it's got more intelligent support options uh, it's got multi-parameter slicing capabilities, so you can say, uh, it, so it sounds like if you want to mix resin profiles together or have different setting options as it's printing, maybe slightly higher resolution as it's printing, you can set that information there. And then uh, additional infill options for your hollowing of your prints, which is really cool sounding, and I would love that for a lot of the <laughs> resin lap stuff that I do. But outside of that, I'm not sure that's worth $169 a year. There's got to be some other crazy stuff packed in with that. Maybe there's a free subscription to some 3D modeling software included with that. I don't know. That's It's just a little bit wild to me. And again, and it's the first time I'm hearing about it. I'm sure some of you out there, this might be the first time you're hearing about it. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you would pay $170 a year for... Uh, for a pro version of Cheetah Box. So if you're interested in picking up the new Frozen Sonic Mega 8K, it goes on sale tomorrow morning, May 27th at 8 a.m. Eastern. So you wanna make sure to get in there quick because I'm pretty sure all of those pre-units are gonna sell out very quickly. But just keep in mind, again, you're gonna to have to pay shipping costs on top of this printer that you're buying. 
Uh, and by the way, oh, I, I, the link's down below. I can't remember if I have an affiliate link to Frozen's website or not, but I might. And if you end up buying it, uh, buy it through my link. It'll help out me and the channel and my pocket and my funds here and my family so I can put food on the table. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this 8K machine. I'm just blown away that they're able to cram that into one of these huge units already. It's fantastic to see this technology evolving so quickly, so, so quickly. Hey, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.